Well, last week was a great example of giving from the community. Hundreds of you brought your filled shoeboxes to our TV station as part of our annual Worldwide Operation Christmas Child shoebox collection for Samaritan's Purse. For weeks, you have seen here on TV44 how the box that Jennifer put together, and that box is among the thousands that are making their way to their next stop in Boone, North Carolina. And Jennifer talks with the local collection coordinator who explains why a shoebox can make such a big difference. Well, as Zach promised you last week, my box truly did get delivered to the uh, Operation Christmas Child shoebox. And of course, I wanted you to be a witness of it because it's not just me. I'm just one tiny piece in the huge pool doing incredible things to reach kids all over the world. Possibly you were a part of this as well as last week was the big box collection week. And here we are. Box Central, don't see a whole lot of boxes here today, but that's because every day throughout the collection week, these incredible volunteers came in and packaged them up and counted everything and got everything ready to travel on to its next, don next destination, which we're gonna find out where that was in a moment. But first, I have to actually officially do my thing here. I've gotta submit this, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Here's my box. I didn't package it very well. I hope you'll still take it. We have rubber bands. We're well, well versed in how to do this. We will insert your check for shipping and handling in this box, and then I'll take care of it in Boone, North Carolina. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Do I get one of these stickers too? I feel like I've been voting. Look at that, all year long, we can be talking about all these incredible shoe boxes. Take a look at the reality of what's gonna be going around the world from this point onward. Girls, boys, all different ages. But the neatest thing about all of this is wrapped up inside of every one of these boxes is prayer. Prayer and the gospel message of Jesus Christ is gonna reach across the region. Hey, Michael's over here working very hard. Why don't you tell me what you've been doing all week long here? Looks like you've got, you've got the heavy labor job. Oh yeah, um, well, after the boxes come in, uh, these ladies and I help sometimes uh, pack them inside these cartons, tape them up and label them, and then I take them out to the semi truck out there so they can deliver it to the main center to where they go through the boxes and until they get shipped out. Get them on the next place. Lots and lots of important jobs that take place. Just like in any ministry, it takes many different individuals each to do their part in order to send things on the way they need to go. We're going to find Deb Smith, who is the coordinator here for the box distribution here in our Lima drop-off location. Always an exciting week, Deb. The boxes are being packaged up, just like your son told us sent out to the semi truck and then where do they go from that point onward they go down to um boone north carolina and then it's a processing center and then from the processing center they will open up these cartons they will go through the boxes to take out the donations and if there are any items that aren't appropriate they will take those out put them to the side they do get used they just to the proper countries sometimes they'll do them here in the states like to the indian reservations they do and um, then they will repack the cartons and they'll ship them overseas. And then that journey is really neat. They can be put on flat boats, go across rivers, and they'll get on donkeys, and they'll go up to mountains and to villages, remote villages. Some of the things that they do, it's just awesome. That is incredible. How does it feel as you pack these boxes, recognizing that that's, that's going to happen? A donkey or a flat boat is going to take the message of Jesus Christ into some of the most remote regions. The love. I just can't explain it, Jennifer. I just think that Jesus loves us so much, and all of us, just not here in the United States, but everywhere. God loves us. Jesus loves us. It's just awesome thinking that somebody that we packed here is going to, re and that, like you said, in the remote village, could receive one of our boxes. And these, the only thing is also, is sometimes these gifts, or most of the time rather, is the only Christmas gift these kids will receive in their entire life. And it's just, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> here sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. It is wonderful. It's exciting. Maybe you saw our interview with Arena Creek earlier this year on Faith and Friends. Maybe last year you saw some of our other interviews with some of the children whose lives truly have been changed because of a shoebox, because of the gospel message. You never know what God is going to use to impact people's hearts and lives so that they come to know him and their lives change forever. 